What's going on guys? What you see me here is working with a smock skyhook, the red and black version. Um, not going to talk much about the mod in this video because what I'm working on is trying to fix that coil that didn't want to heat up just right. Um, you'll see me here working trying to spread, spread the spacing out with a Phillips head screwdriver. Couldn't get it to cooperate with me. Um, and throughout the video you'll see me I just finally say screw it and take the coil out and replace it but I like to salvage my coils if I can and use them as long as I can here I'm trying to use a blade of a little small scissor to space the center part of the coil out because they were squished together from wicking it up last time um, just didn't seem to work so now I'm using the end, end of uh, tweezers to space it out and you notice the far coil heats up perfectly and this coil just doesn't want to cooperate and that's, that's what you want if you can see in the video what you want is uh, the coils to heat up from the inside or from the center to the outside and have even space heating or you know amber color and uh, this particular coil just didn't want to work so now I'm trying to use a Phillips head screwdriver to level out the coil and help space everything but again it just didn't want to cooperate with me and these coils both coils were put in at the same time about two months ago and that's about the longevity of my coals and how much I bait. I can usually get about two months out of them before I either got to replace them or clean them real good. And I did try to clean these before I started recording. Um, I used to do the uh, water method, but then I just stopped doing that and started just to heat them up real high and then blow them out, blow all the debris off of them. Uh, but right here is where I pretty much just gave up and said, no, nah, it's time to replace it. And I use uh, pre-made coals. You can see some wire in the background. I used to wrap them, but I find it easier now just to buy a little tube of five pre-made coils. And what I'm using is the Caterpillar uh, Clapton wrap coils. Costs like, at my local vape shop, costs like $5.95 for five of them. So it's pretty, pretty fair deal to me. I don't have to fool with wrapping them anymore. I can just put them in, cut them, and wick them, and I'm good to go. And this isn't really a tutorial video on how to wick or uh, put coils in. I just wanted to record what I was doing and throw it up on YouTube. But now that I think about it, if somebody wants me to do a uh, a little quick tutorial on how to how I do this I'll be glad to do it just leave me a comment and I use uh, bacon bits cotton for wicking uh, they sell it at my local vape shop it's about the only cotton that I can find locally that's uh, that Japanese cotton for vaporizers <laughs> you see right here I accidentally hit the fire button while I'm trying to cut it and it kind of made everything a little hot around my fingers I forgot to take the batteries out while I was working on it. And I don't know if you can tell in the video, but now I got good even heat all the way around. See, there's the bacon bits cotton. I think that cost me between four and six dollars after tax for that bag. And I can make a bag last about three months because this isn't my primary vaporizer. I just use it when I'm at home. Now I get smart and I decide to take the batteries out so I don't mess my fingers up while I'm putting cotton in it. What I like to do here is uh, when you buy cotton, you can look at it and tell where it's sectioned off for the most part. So I like to take a section off and then pull the excess cotton off. And then what I like to do is basically 
bend it in half where the two ends meet and then I cut it right down the middle so I got even pieces to work with. And then I always twirl my cotton in the same direction. I don't, I don't sit there and roll it around in my palm. I use my fingertips to twirl it into a little small point so I can get it through the coil and then I just snip off the end that I twirled so I'm not cutting that much off. And then I like to blow in the end that I twirled to spread it around. Sometimes I use tweezers like you see me here to spread it out to get it all even. I know you couldn't see it in the video. I didn't too, do too good on this video. And then on this particular sky hook, the, it's got a, uh, uh, if you want to call it a tank down below where the coils go and you gotta stuff your cotton down in it so that they stay wicked. And then we do the other side the exact same way. Nothing to it. Now, and what I do is I always twist my cotton away from me so if you want to think about it like I guess I do a clockwise twist on the cotton I only do it on one end and when I get it through the coil I kind of undo it and space it out with tweezers kind of fluff it out and then just stuff it down in the uh, in the tank or the reservoir is really what it's called it's a reservoir shout out to the vape shack 808.com I ordered some juice from them about four business days ago and it came in the mail today they got pretty good juice you just got to dig through their flavors to find one that you like they ship out of Hawaii so sometimes it can take a few days to get to you and here you just see me wetting the cotton, making sure it's getting good and wet before I hit the fire button the first time so I don't burn my coils out. Let's give it the first fire, see what happens. usually vape this mod on about 80 watts. At this point, I just fill my reservoir up and I'm good to go. Thanks for watching, guys.